Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do an easy peasy um, eyeshadow look. It's just three colors and a whole lot of blending. And if you're interested in how I got this look, please keep watching. So let's get started. I'm going to take my Milani eyeshadow primer and go over both my lids. And that way, my eyeshadow will stick to my eyelids a whole lot better and the color will just come out loud and proud like it's supposed to do. I always use a small little concealer brush to uh, make sure that I have a really even application of my eyeshadow primer all over my eyelids. You can absolutely do this with your finger, it's just that I have really long fingernails, so it's hard to get in there with them. Um, but yeah, fingernails totally work, or a little brush. Um, as long as it's on there, I feel like a lot of people don't understand the importance of a good eyeshadow primer, but really there's no point in wearing eyeshadow if you don't have a good primer. So I'm taking peanut butter in the peanut butter and jelly palette, and I'm just going to swish around my brow bone. So you have a couple of different parts of your eyelid that you need to be aware of when you are doing your eyeshadow. So there's the brow bone, and then the crease, which you can like stick your finger into and kind of poke at your eyeball with, and then there's your lid. So when you're doing your eyeshadow, sometimes in little palettes, you'll find colors that say this is good for your crease, this is good for your lid. I don't think, I don't know what they call it for your brow bone, but um, those are usually like the transition shades. That's where I always put my transition shade no matter what. So I'm gonna be using peanut butter as my transition shade. The transition shade is the one that's most like your skin color. And so you can use the craziest colors on your lid and on your crease, but that transition shade really has to be similar to your eye color so that it blends into your eyelid and it just looks seamless. That's kind of how you get a smoky look or a natural look when you have a good uh, transition color. So right now I'm going in to my eyelid with Lace Teddy from the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. And it's a really pretty light pink color and it makes my eyelid have this nude effect, even though um, it doesn't look nude, but when it sets and the color kind of settles into the primer, then it comes off a lot more nude than pink. Also, I'm using my finger to apply this color rather than a brush because I found that when I use my finger, I pick up a lot more product and I can put down a lot more product than a brush can. So for light, light colors like this, I like to use my finger and um, I just get a lot more of an opaque effect when I use my finger. I'm going into the corner of my eye with Sexpresso from the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. And when I say corner of the eye, I usually mean the corner furthest away from my nose. So I always put my darkest color there and in the crease so that it adds to the smoky effect and it just makes my eyes look a little bit bigger. One thing that is important when you are first beginning with eyeshadow is to follow the natural shape of your eye. If you noticed when I was using uh, peanut butter as my transition, I was kind of just sweeping across from one corner of my eye to the other. And that's the best way I think to get your eyeshadow. Um, a lot of YouTube gurus and beauty gurus will show you how to apply your eyeshadow, but you have to do what's best for you. So I think um, just follow your natural eye shape. Don't try and make a V. Don't try and make like a rainbow. Just follow your brow bone and then work in from there. So 
sometimes when I'm doing my eyeshadow, I get really nervous because I feel like I didn't use the right colors and it's starting to look a little bit crazy. But when that happens, I just get my transition shade and I start to blend out that crease the more. Sometimes the crease can be really overwhelming because it's so dark. So um, I go in with the lid color and the cre and the brow bone color and just kind of reel in that crease color. So you can see me um, putting on some more of Lace Teddy and blending um, the peanut butter just a little bit more so that uh, that crease color doesn't get a little too crazy. And then also just check in the mirror to make sure that you like what you see. Keep on blending until you are happy and satisfied with how your eyeshadow is looking. But blend for a good two minutes if you have to. So I'm finally happy with how my eyeshadow turned out, so I'm going in with iTech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner in Blackest Black by Milani, and I'm doing a winged uh, liner, and I have seriously been doing black winged liner since I was about 17, and it's my favorite eyeliner look. I've tried others, and I just don't like them as much, so that's what you're going to get when you come to my channel. It's always going to be a black winged liner. As you perhaps can tell, I have eyelash extensions, so right now I'm just kind of clearing them up and wiping off all of the eyeshadow that fell on them, and then I'm going to go in with the special mascara that I have for my eyelash extensions, and it's an oil-free product so that um, my eyelashes don't fall off because oil and eyelash extension glue does not mix. Sometimes when I want to look really sexy, I will pop on an extra set of eyelashes, but today is not that day. For my lower lash line, I'm using Pro Longwear Eyeliner in Definitely Black, and it's by MAC. And it's seriously one of the best eyeliners that I have because it just never bleeds. Unlike most eyeliners, once you get a little sweaty or maybe you tear up a little bit, it kind of bleeds down into your concealer and it's just not a good look, but this one stays exactly where you put it. It doesn't smudge ever. Finally, I'm going on my lips with a matte liquid lipstick by ColourPop in the Color Avenue. And it's one of my favorite colors and my favorite brands. These lipsticks are only six dollars which you really cannot beat with a stick.
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe and share it with your friends. And I will see you sometime later on another video. Bye.